allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Since the minutes, communication, city manager report, committee reports are not important at this time, not applicable. Uh, are there com comments from the citizens? Okay. Check that out. So resolutions done, ordinances done. Board of Zoning Appeals. I have two gentlemen that are up. Mr. Chad St. Cran and David Peter Peters. Mr. Peters will be interviewed during the regular meeting as indicated on the agenda. Okay. Okay. So we're going to interview him at that time? Uh, when, yes, he had work obligations, so he'll be out afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was Chad. The, the Chad's here. Oh, Chad's over here. <laughs> that was David. <laughs> Okay, Chad, why don't you come up to the front? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Have a seat. Basically, he's patient about helping his community prosper, math degree, and he can bring solid logic in responding to the decisions I make on the board. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Chad, other than that? Sure. Um, I was originally uh, well, originally born in Michigan, but my parents immediately moved to Toledo, and I grew up in the Toledo area. Um, after I graduated college, I lived in the Chicago area for uh, approximately 25 years, and wanted to move back closer to family, so I moved um, back to Ohio. I'm here in Carlisle about two and a half years ago, and have lived here. Um, I have been in recruiting, I've been a talent acquisition manager, and I just recently, um, just in the last week, got my real estate license. So, council, any questions? Mr. Mayor, go ahead. Since you just become a realtor, will you have time to uh, be on the BZA? I absolutely will have time to be on the BZA. Yes. Okay. Anyone else? Go ahead, Mr. What would you say is your best character quality that you would bring to the board? I think the best character quality I would bring to the role is the fact that I've worked with a variety of different uh, people, um, different personalities. Uh, I believe as a manager that I've had the ability to listen to what people have to say before making any judgments. Um, I've always been raised that God gave me two ears and one mouth for a reason. So um, I believe that I have a great listening skills, and um, I, I feel like I'm, I'm fair when it comes to um, making judgments or deciding on situations. So. Uh, so with your math degree, what would be something you envision yourself using that? Role. Um, in the math degree, I mean, I don't know if there's a whole lot of math that would be involved with, you know, zoning appeals. I think more of my real estate license recently, you know, I learned a lot about um, zoning and, uh, you know, zoning requirements and building codes uh, within the real estate um, education that I've had. Um, I, you know, would intend to also, you know, intensely look over the zoning that we have here in Carlisle, so I was familiar with um, what the what the current laws are, and um, you know if there was any math that was involved, I think that uh, we had the chance to do that. I just asked that because of what you had put down yeah. as far as your math degree to yeah. bring on your reason. So if you yeah. thought through that. I think at that time I was thinking, you know, there was a couple of different boards that I was I really care about this community and the 
um, not only the aesthetics of the community, but the, the members and citizens of this community. So, um, you know, I, I want this community to thrive, and uh, I, I love the idea that this city is growing, and um, I believe there's going to be some, you know, potential challenges that are going to be coming up. So, um, but I look forward to those. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Ken. Um, compassion is really important to me. And this kind of job where you're having to tell people, no, you cannot do that, they're going to become angry. And I just hope that you could remain compassionate through that and quiet. <laughs> is that a skill you believe you can take anger and handle it well? Yeah. I, uh... I, I grew up in a, a large family, so um, <coughs> I feel like in then dealing and working with other people um, in my other roles that I've had as a manager, um, I, I always try to understand the other person and what the other person is either going through or what, you know, to kind of be a little bit in their shoes to find out, you know, to understand where they're coming from. That's why I believe listening skills is going to be very important to, uh, to this role. Um, and so I, you know, feel like I also have been in a sales role. So I, I believe that with that, there's been times I've had to tell people no, but you know, you have to be able to deliver that without really them feeling the harsh of what no is, you know. Okay. So, um, but yeah, compassion. I, I appreciate that. I really like to hear that. Good. Good. Uh, <clears throat> As a member of the BZA, if your neighbor came before you and you guys was really good buds, would that sway your decision one way or the other? Um, no, I believe I would listen to them just as objectively um, as anybody else is in this community. I mean, if, uh, if my particular neighbor is, you know, they're not going to get any favor to them special treatment. Um, I think the one good thing about the fact that I haven't like grown up in this community is um, you know, I don't have any real, real, real tight relationships that, that would you know bring any favoritism to the role. So um, but uh, no, every every situation is is unique and I would listen to every situation objectively and it's just, this is a business. So um, in business um, you know you have to look what's going to be so on the other hand, if you absolutely hated your neighbor that lived next door and he wanted to be in front of the BZA, mm -hmm. would the same same rules apply? Yes, but I don't think Well, <laughs> it, it, you know, okay, dislike or whatever. But the uh, because in this in this role, I believe, and I think council would agree, you have to be. Uh, <laughs> Independent and non. Uh, my mind just went blank. Yeah. What word am I looking for? Non-biased. <laughs> yeah, non-biased. You know, uh, and uh, no favoritisms, one way or the other. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Mr. Graham. <laughs> Sorry? No problem. I'm apologizing for Ben. <laughs> Go ahead. I just want to thank you for applying. Well, thank you for at least considering me and giving me the opportunity. I have a question for the manager. Go ahead. Uh, do we have to have at least three people on the board for them to act or not? Yes, it's a five-person board. Okay. So you'll so, you'll be having um, another one this evening, mm -hmm. and then we're going to put two, uh, well, at least one more in front of you on the third, the twentieth, the next. Oh, okay. Meeting. So we got three, mm -hmm. possibly four. Yes. If if they get approved. Yes. Uh, now a question to the mayor: When will we be voting on this individual? Oh, well, that's up for you guys. Well, I was assuming you're going to make the motion tonight we to the point. Okay. Uh, or a regular session, I do apologize. In regular session, right. you make that a motion right. to the point. And 
How do you pronounce your last name again, sir? Sand. One more time. Sand Crane. Sand Crane. Sand Crane. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. We have one more. Yeah, I noticed you and the next person, I've forgotten their name, I'm sorry, have the same address. Would that be an issue if you work with that person, or is that something that would be a problem? Or No, it would not be a problem. Okay. The case has not been discussed outside of this room, so okay. um, yeah, there would be no, no problem. All right. I just wanted to make sure, because sometimes, you know, living with people, different opinions and whatnot. So. Yeah, we, no cases would ever be discussed. I think you can. Two people can. I don't think it's against the rules or anything. I don't anything, know. But I mean, I don't know. It's legal or illegal. I just, I think for ethics reasons, I probably, you know. Keep it yeah, to yourself. Yeah. Right. That would not be in front of the public. Okay. All right. Thank you. Other than that, Tara, thank you much for applying and we will probably do something at the regular meeting. <laughs> we will probably do something. It depends if we don't Thanks, go home Jeff. after this. Uh, thank you. Okay. All right, you guys are next. No, I'm just <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I'll stay. Go ahead. Move to adjourn. Second. A motion and a second. <laughs> Here's a second. Mr. Brown. Does it go to Bond next then? Yeah. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilman Shammy? Yes. Councilwoman Wright? Yes. Vice Mayor Eggleston? Yes. Mayor Cook? Yes. Who's my second? Councilman Grimm? Okay, then I'm going to go with Councilman Lindsay. Who? Councilman Lindsay. Oh, that'd be me. Yeah, yes. I thought I went home or something. Yes. Thank you. So it's a yes. Did I call everyone? I, I do have a comment, Joe. Go ahead. He called the roll before we had discussion on that. So why didn't you interrupt the roll call then? You're the manager. You shouldn't interrupt the No, I'm, there. I'm not the clerk of council. See the difference? I just messed up with it. <laughs> do you, so want you don't want me doing this. <laughs> no, there was never nothing to discuss. <laughs> Don't be difficult. Other than that, I guess we're adjourned until 6 o'clock.